Hello everyone, uh, this is me Ataullah Shafiq and today we classify the normal and abnormal heard sounds. So basically this script uh, de uh, demonstrates the complete workflow for developing an embedded machine learning application uh, including the data, extracting features, exploring uh, various algorithms tuning to the uh, get a model with good performance and de uh, deploying the data in uh, prototype applications. So we develop a classifier of heard sounds into normal and abnormal which could be used in the medical practice to monitor patients who are at increased risk of dangerous heart conditions and remove the need to have a skilled uh, clinician present. So the figure shows the high level agri uh, architecture and a screenshot from the uh, basically uh, prototype. So for the application we uh, use the data set provided by the PhysioNet challenge of 2016 uh, consisting of over 3000 recordings of normal and abnormal hertz right. So these recordings were obtained at four different locations uh, using areas and others for locations. Uh, so uh, this is to get us started. We need to obtain the uh, data. If you are running this for the first time, this step will download data from the uh, PhysioNet's website or my uh, uh, repository, uh, GitHub repository. This step will be skipped if the data basically directly is present, right? So if you don't intend to actually run feature uh, extraction or train the models means both of which can take several minutes to execute, right? You don't have to worry about actually getting the training and uh, like validation data set. Uh, this instead of just extract the uh, demonstration zip file that's included and you can simply load the uh, pro uh, pro computed features from the dot mat file and then train models in the classification learner app now you have to add current folder and subfolders to search path so the script can find the uh, the recordings in subdirectories of data and various MATLAB functions in helper functions. So basically the reminder of this demo is structured according to the four phases of the typical machine learning workflow. Number one is access and explore the data. Number two uh, pre-process the data and uh, number three is develop uh, basically predictive models right. And number four is integrate the models which, uh, with systems. So uh, the figure is show which additional MATLAB boxes we will uh, uh, in the various phases of the workflow. So let's come to access and explore the data. So basically what does an abnormal heard sound like? right so let's begin by forming an impression what these heard signals sound like so meta provides function to play uh, back our audio for this exercise we copied samples of uh, normal and also abnormal heard recordings from the data set into into the main directory so this is the example of normal heard sound like uh, and we copied also this we copied samples of normal and abnormal like uh, previous heard recordings from the data set into the uh, main directory now what do uh, what do the signals look like in the frequency domain to explore what we might use the uh, distinguish these signals with the classifier let's look at the frequency contents right so to this end you can use matlab signal analyzer app uh, to inspect and compare the power spectrum of the two signals 
once the app has loaded display the uh, signals into a separate panels use the grid button on the left upper corner and then generate the spectrum under meth and waveform the abnormal sound will show a clear spike near 0.2 radian uh, radians whereas the normal sound has more frequency content right near the uh, y axis now prepare to read the data into memory to load the recordings into memory matlab's file data storage provide a co uh, convenient way to handle a large number of data files spread across multiple folders the read function provides flexibility to access a basically wide variety of uh, different file formats and with matlab based read functions typically lit little customization is needed <coughs> so now create a table with file names and labels uh, basically labels uh, represent the true category of each sample in a data set and are critical to be able to apply supervised learn machine learning in this classification task so the data set we are uh, using here provides the labels in a separate reference file in each subfolder of the training and validation data so along with the uh, corresponding audio files means recordings so in this section we read the uh, these all uh, reference.rsv files and build a table with file name and also corresponding labels this step is only needed if you want to run feature extraction in the uh, next step so now you have to extract features from raw uh, heard sound signals next we need to extract feature from the uh, reco recordings we use statistical and signal processing function available in matlab to process and extract features from the heard sound signal the following section uh, extract mo some like 26 features for each recording and split each recording into windows consisting of 5 uh, seconds of heard sound so the pre processing of all 3000 plus recordings may take a while even though the code below the parallel computing toolbox to execute on multiple cores uh, means provided your machine is multi core right so this is to be to avoid waiting by default the code will simply load the extracted features from the feature table that we included with the, uh, with the demo so now try and compare and select classifier having an initial set of features we can proceed to the next phase of the machine learning workflow the training of various predictive model you can use the uh, classification learner app to interactivity uh, train compare and select uh, classifiers so uh, select the feature table uh, variable from the work workspace as your data and either hold out 30% as, mo uh, as model validation uh, to match the results from the ebook and uh, workflow or to perceive more data for training so you can choose cross validation then uh, train a bunch of uh, different classifier including linear regression svm and decision trees right so you can note which ones deliver higher accuracy on the held or uh, held out validation data also explore the uh, confusion matrices and the conceptu uh, conceptualize what misclassifying a normal versus an uh, abnormal sound means in practice you should see results similar to this but not uh, identical because there is various random if you look at the uh, confusion matrix you will notice a fairly number of abnormal sounds are misclassified as normal 
means 30% 13% for the fine KNN model shown above the right which is very understandable in medical practice because it means uh, failing to diagnose someone who might have a serious heart condition to improve model uh, performance the following section will apply additional optimization steps right so now optimize an initial model uh, development of machine learning model is so development of machine learning model is an interactive process to achieve optimal performance you can uh, you will generally need to apply advanced techniques and uh, like yeah, iterate first the uh, saying goes there is no free la- uh, lunch which is machine learning means for any given machine learning problem even experts don't know uh, even the experts don't know which type of model uh, will perform best you have to do some work to achieve optimal performance so first step to uh, try out different models the classification learner the learner makes that easy if you have not already go back the classification learner try a bunch of different model and compare their performance which one performed the best now optimize model by tuning hyperparameters as mentioned above a powerful tool for improving model accuracy is hyperparameter optimization with uh, matlab r2020b or 2020a this process is available directly in the classification learner simply select one of the optimizable models from the like model gallery adjust the advanced uh, like uh, optimizer options and click the train like before right uh, to r- limit run time to a few minutes set a time limit to an explicit value or limit the uh, 15 iterations and plenty for the data set if you are on an earlier release skip ahead to the uh, next section on programmatic uh, model t- training now optimize the model using misclassification cost we can use the group states to uh, number of observations for each class and those uh, demonstrate the imbalance in our heard sound data like above right so you proceed with this section only if you have the uh, matlab r2019 or latest otherwise skip to the uh, this equivalent presented in this uh, next section right now to train and optimize models uh, you perform the following steps number one uh, explicitly split your data into a training and test set which you set aside for assessing accuracy number two is train a model using the cost and optimize uh, hyperparameters parameter right and number three is evaluate accuracy of model on held out test set now perform feature selection using components analysis the last mod- uh, model performs pretty well but it is too large uh, right uh, it is too large for deployment on a small embedded device therefore in this section we explore training a more compact model that uses only a subset of the 26 features namely the features that have the majority of the predictive power nca is an uh, automated approach for selecting a small subset of features that carry the information most uh, the classification task while minimizing 
the among select selected features right now you have to strain the model with selected features now you have to do code generation right means integrate analytics with systems uh, so generate c code that takes recorded signal and sampling frequency as input and produce hertz sound classification label as output instead of running code uh, uh, on the command line if you were familiar with the coder app and wanted to highlight this capability you could bring up matlab coder so so now finally you have to validate the final model right process a random subset of audio files from the validation set by the sample app the app calls the max version of the function a function called classify hertz sound right so in this uh, demonstration you have to learn how to efficiently access and uh, pre process a large set of signal data by matlab's data store and uh, functionality right and you can quickly assess the performance of various traditional classification models using the interactive classification learner and you have you can optimize models both interactivity and by program and you also can reduce model size by selecting a small subset of most predictive features right and also you can automatically generate corresponding predictive code and integrate that into a simple demo application so uh, to further improve performance and dive yet proper into what's possible with signal classification you could explore the generating better features using techniques like wavelet scratching uh, so this example demonstrate that for an ecg signal right and in the bonus selection below we guide you through that uh, process for the hertz sound signal and you can also use applying deep learning like uh, uh, same ecd data as referred above now bonus section uh, automated features extraction using uh, wavelet uh, scratching since the hurt uh, sound demo was created in two, uh, 2017 and the machine learning ebooks were written a lot of progress in automated extraction of features have been made one technique uh, particularly uh, particularly uh, suitable for the signals is wavelet scratching right so you can use it with minimal configuration uh, low variance features from signal and image data for use in machine learning right Uh, also in deep learning applications as well in show in this figure right so finally expect accuracy of the model trend on the full set of 270 plus wavelength features above 90% uh, means we got 90% on held out training data but just 20 uh, but 85% on validation So thank you so much for your time